London. I know that it's boring that I keep drinking an icy cold Sapporo, but you know what? I'm not sorry because it is literally Satan's anus here in New York City. So this is what I'm all about. I asked you guys for some suggestions for new content in my last video and you guys came through. There were so many awesome suggestions. I want to thank you guys so much. Someone, and I don't know their name, so please forgive me, but someone suggested that I start doing a full face of pro-choice brand makeup, like spotlighting each brand and showing what I love from each brand the most. So that's what I'm going to do. I thought it was a great idea. Today, I'm going to do Fenty, which is one of my all-time favorite makeup brands. So what I'm going to be showing you and putting on my face for you are my favorite Fenty products. There are some products I don't have. There's some products I've tried and I'm not a fan of. So I'm really showing you like my cream of the crop from each brand. And also I'm trying to accumulate more product from Vocally Pro Choice brands. So it might take me a while to get there, but I definitely have uh, enough brands for like a few videos to get these ser this series going. You guys, guess what I'm gonna start with? Just take a guess. The Fenty Body Sauce is one of my favorite products and how many more times can I talk about it? I do already have it on today. I realized I probably should have put it on for you so you can see the magic that is the application of the Fenty Body Sauce. Too late, too late, but you can see it now. You can see I just have it on my neck and my decollete. I also want to point out, I had a subscriber ask, why are you putting that in your foundation? Like, how does that work? Isn't it super shimmery? No, 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 no shimmer in this whatsoever. So the best way that I would describe the Fenty Body Sauce is basically like a hydrating lotion with a tint. So you can see like, I'm, I'm very pale. So this just gave me a little bit of a bronze, a little bit more evenness, but there is absolutely no sparkle, no shimmer, nothing like that whatsoever. It's like super smooth and creamy. It does transfer. It depends on like what you're wearing, the color you're wearing, what the fit of the outfit is. I have occasionally gotten a little bit of the sauce like on the inside of my clothing, but a little bowl light takes that out like a dream. I wanted to also let you know that I did not start with a Fenty primer because I don't have one, but I am wearing the In Beauty Face Glaze. So that's what I have on underneath everything. So I am going to use a combination of uh, two foundations I have from Fenty. So this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And this is the Fenty Eavesdrop in the shade four. This is shade 170. This is shade four. I'm mixing them together because while I love the uh, Pro Filter, it is a little full coverage for me. And so I feel like this is gonna give me um, a little bit more of the dew. Well, I don't know about dewiness, but just like a lighter application, lighter foundation. Also, this is like, I think a little bit dark for me, especially cause we're gonna really bronze this up and I don't wanna go too ham. So this is a little bit lighter. So I think this is gonna be a really nice match. That right there is the Fenty Ease Drop. You can see that it is very runny. It's kind of like a nice combo between creamy and runny. And then we have the Fenty Pro Filter, which is very, very different. You can see it's barely moving. It's very thick, it's very creamy. Again, very uh, full coverage foundation. I like to take my foundation and literally just evenly smooth it out in the palm of my hand so that when I press my sponge in, it's gonna be a really nice, even application. I'm using an e.l.f. sponge and I'm kind of obsessed with it because it has this like broad, these broad flat sides to it. So it's really effective and you can really quickly get in there and get the job done. You can always find my updated list of pro-choice brands on my Instagram in the highlights. So when you go to my Instagram, there's gonna be a little tiny circle and it's gonna say pro-choice and you just click on it and you'll always see uh, my latest updated version of that list. I also try to update it in the YouTube community tab as well, so you can try to check it out there. That application of foundation was actually the perfect amount. I don't want any more than this because I think if I go any more, it's gonna be too much coverage for me. I'm going to try the matchsticks. God, the print is so small. Yeah, just the matte matchsticks in the shade linen. So with the matchsticks, they do run a little bit dry. I don't think that they're a not good product. I just think it's all about the application, especially with these. So because they're so dry, again, I like to really get some warmth going um, in the palm of my hand and just apply it there and then tap into it from my hand again. Oh, wow. 
that is really nice. This is definitely something I have not used in years. I think I got a little dissuaded because I was putting it directly on my face and it was just dry as a bone, but that is not the case when applied like this. Certain makeup applications can really change the way a product applies in a huge way. I don't have a lot of new Fenty. This is stuff that I've loved, but it's definitely fallen to the wayside just because I have so much product, new stuff comes in, I don't pay attention to this, but I will tell you this freaking, nope, that's not it. Bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. This cream bronzer from Fenty, which is the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. I have the shade Butter Biscuit, which can I just say, Fenty comes up with the best names of products. And you can see she is well loved. She is used and abused. I will tell you right now, I mean, I have picked this up recently to see how I feel like it compares to the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. I think it is an excellent dupe, honestly, just watch. So I'm literally just taking the sponge and tapping right into the bronzer. Look at how incredibly naturally that is applying. I just honestly forgot. I will tell you, I don't love the matchsticks for contour and bronzer. Um, just because, just because I, like I said before, they're very dry and I just feel like they don't go on nearly as beautifully or as smoothly as this bronzer does. I think that's perfect. Like I'm not gonna go any more of that because Obviously we're gonna put blush on, there's a lot more color coming our way, but is that not just, I think that's the perfect cream bronzer application. So moving on to cream blush, and I am gonna double blush with just this. So we're gonna come back around to it again at the end just to really, really make it stay. This is officially my favorite of the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blushes. This is the shade Strawberry Drip. Guys, this is such a stunning color. It would look gorgeous on any skin tone. It's so flattering. I know it looks like really intense in the pan, but just you wait. Like what, what's even, what's even going on? Like what's up with that? That makes me so, fucking mad. It is so gorgeous. I mean, and this is any time of year. This is a wintertime cheek. This is an aspen cheek. This is a summertime cheek. And I have a lot of the shades. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven of the shades. It's a lot. It's a lot. This is my favorite. This is the one I always go back to. I even tried a couple different ones the other day and they were beautiful, but I was like, no, sorry, they can't top this shade. I don't have any of the Fenty brow products. The only one I've tried is the wax sculpting stick. And I actually got rid of that because I didn't love it. I didn't feel like it really held my brows. So I'm just gonna go in with my Glossier Boy brow, just like every other video. <laughs> right now. Yeah, I'm really struggling to find like brow products and um, eyeliners that I really love that are from Vocally Pro Choice brands. You guys had some good suggestions and I'm definitely going to look at those for my last video and uh, I'm going to have to make some purchases because I got to have more going on than <laughs> my Glossier Boy brow and that's it. I'm not going to really set my face that intensely at all, but I do want to powder it just a little bit because there are a few shiny areas. So I'm going to take my Say powder, which is the lightest powder I have. I absolutely love this. And I've been buying e.l.f. Uh, tools just to try them out. And so far, I'm incredibly impressed. Not surprised because I've heard fantastic things about their brushes and their sponges. This is their Kabuki brush. Guys, it is so soft it's crazy and i'm just very lightly going in and like patting the powder in this is also supposed to give your face this brush is supposed to give your face an airbrushed effect and i have found that it does just that mm, perfect perfect coverage i feel great about this i'm gonna take uh that concealer or that matchstick in linen and i'm just going to kind of even out my lids with that. I don't own any eyeshadow from Fenty. That's not a big surprise because you guys know I'm not necessarily like the hugest eyeshadow person on the planet. So I am actually going to use a bronzer as my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take the Fenty Instant Warmth Bronzer. This is the their powder bronzer. This is in the shade Shady Biz. I think I learned about this from Raw Beauty Christie like a long time ago. There's something to be said 
for like just a really simple natural bronzer as an eyeshadow. Okay, so like I said, I'm definitely on the struggle bus with liners and brow products. I do not have their liners anymore because I used to have a bunch and I really liked them and then I discovered other liners that were way better. So I got rid of the Fenty and now here I am with barely any liners at all. What a joy and a pledge. So as I said in my last video, I am on the lookout for really high quality eyeliners that are pencils and that I can sharpen. We don't have that today. So we're just gonna do mascara, but the saving grace is that this mascara is bomb. This is the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara. Guys, I loved this from the moment I tried it. I used it up, I got rid of it. I haven't had it for a very long time. Just repurchased it. Cannot wait to show you how this looks. It is so buildable and it is giving you all the length and all the volume in a way that really makes it look like you have really subtle false lashes on. So, you know, in that regard, I feel like I can get away with not wearing a liner because this kind of kind of does the work of both. And you can see, well, first of all, we love the packaging and this is the wand. This is the most important thing, right? And this is that double-sided wand that I love. Very, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes Mascara. If you're looking for a dupe for that, look no further, seriously. This has got the push-up sides and it also has uh, the bristly sides where you can go in and get length. This gives me so much length that I absolutely have to go in and clean up any mascara, but that takes like a second, so it's not a big deal. And I'm gonna do my lower lashes as well, because why the hell not? I can just keep going in and building and building and building. It does not get like spidery, you know what I mean? When your lashes get really stiff and spidery and you can't you can't really do anything else with them. This is the opposite of that. Damn, that's good. Okay, wow, run, do not walk on that, jeez. Now I'm gonna let that mascara dry in those places that I wanna clean up, and I'm gonna move on to lips. So we are using one lip product and one lip product only, which I have to say, I'm giving myself a pat on the back because I love so many of their lip products. I love all their gloss bombs. I have almost all of them, but I decided on one of my favorites, which is the Fenty Heat in the shade Hot Cherry. Excuse me, that's plushes as hell. That's a one-way ticket to Juicyville. So now I'm gonna go back in with my favorite cream blush, that Strawberry Drip. Oh my God, it is, it's so good. Also the little like tingly tingliness that goes on with the Heat Gloss Palm has kicked in and I'm here for it. Also makes my lips look a little bit bigger. So the highlighters that I have from Fenty are like roll sparkly, which I love. And I really love it for like a holiday look, something festive, something super, super glam. I'm not really feeling it for this. So I don't really wanna use that. So I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty uh, Liquid Luminizer in the shade Enchant. Has Fenty come out with a liquid highlighter? I don't recall. Um, okay, okay. Like what? Stunning. Okay guys, so that finishes up this Pro Choice brand spotlight of Fenty. I hope you enjoyed this. I know this is really simple and I know Fenty makes so many products, but these really are like the cream of the crop for me. These really stood out. That being said, here are the favorites out of my favorites. Fenty body sauce, not even gonna go on, just go get it. The cream blush in the shade Strawberry Drip is so incredibly gorgeous. This would look good on any skin tone, whether you're super pale, whether you have a deep skin tone. I just think this is absolutely beautiful and it is it is a perfect Aspen cheek. Guys, this cream bronzer can have its way with me. Seriously, I think this is very, very close, if not like splitting hairs in terms of quality compared to the Charlotte Tilbury uh, a cream bronzer. I'm so impressed with how this applies. I think it looks so beautiful, um, so blendable, so creamy. And the mascara, the full frontal mascara, I think is actually better. And again, we're really splitting hairs here, but I think it is a little bit better in my opinion than the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes because I can just keep going in with this again and again. My lashes remain flexible. 
It's way more buildable and I think it's just a better product. It's easier to work with. Fenty Full Frontal Mascara, good job. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys have any favorites from Fenty that I didn't show here that you think I would love, please put it down in the comments. As always, everything I talked about today is going to be linked down below in the description box. Those are affiliate links. And if you shop through my links, that just means I get a small commission in return. So I thank you in advance. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye. Mm. <laughs>